Hi guys, another episode in Grandad's Junk Pile Projects. I've used this car a few times and where it's been left in the pile I've actually broken the axle. It's only a barbecue skewer but I'm going to use those wheels. They've actually got uh, some rubber on them to act as tyres to give them a bit of extra grip and there'll be a link in the video description telling you how to do that. They're actually strips cut from rubber gloves, washing up gloves. So I'm going to use those wheels and then unsurprisingly, being as we've just had Christmas, I've got an empty plastic uh, chocolates box. It is empty. So I'm going to make a rubber band powered car. Just two wheels with the axle going straight across the middle. A couple of rubber bands. One coming from the front of the car to the axle and one coming from the back of the car to the axle. And I'll use that for the axle because it's a bit thicker than the barbecue skewer that's broken in the car. It's a flower cane, bamboo flower cane. Get them from the um, garden centres. They're about a about quarter of an inch thick. So we'll use that as the axle. I've drilled four holes in the plastic tub. So that's two for the axle to go through and two for the rubber bands. So that will be the axle. And then the rubber bands I'll put a little bit of barbecue skewer just there to hold them in place. Put a bit of tape over it just to hold it in place so we can come across to the axle. I've made the holes in the middle of the wheels a little bit bigger because it's a thicker axle and I've also got a couple more bottle tops that I'll put over there and that will space the wheels so they don't rub against the top edge of the plastic container because it's got this ridge around the edge. That's the wheel in place and the axle. I think I'll probably hot glue a couple little pegs very short bits of barbecue skewer to the middle of the axle just to make it easy to hook the rubber bands on. There we are, two little bits of barbecue skewer just hot glued straight onto the axle. That's just to help hook the rubber band in place to start winding it up. Now, we'll just push rubber band through the other hole, get a bit of tape, pull that through. Same on the other side. So, put 
one on one side. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see this. One will go underneath. One will go on top. And we wind it up. Like that. I'll go and try it out in the kitchen. I've no idea how straight this will go. So, one on top, one underneath, wind it up. Enough. Make sure it's facing the right way. Put the top back on. Ready to move the camera. Not bad. Right, we'll try again. See if we can go a bit straighter. Ah, not bad. I didn't wind it up as far as I could have done. And we did... I can't remember now. Five and three, I think, so... 8 metres is the total distance we could have done, and we're about a metre short. So we did 7 metres, for those people who like to know how far they go. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber band powered chocolate box. Very simple. We've got a plastic chocolate box that we put two wheels on. Uh, we've got a bamboo flower cane as the axle. I've glued a couple of little bits of, um, well, barbecue skewer in this case. Two little hooks there to hook the rubber bands onto. One in each direction. So we can wind it up. The wheels are CDs with plastic bottle tops as the hubs. We've actually got um, rubber strips on the wheels to give them extra grip and we've got an extra plastic bottle top inside to keep it away from this edge that sticks out. And that's it. Very simple. Job done.